To win the year, you have to win the season. And if you want to win the season, you have to win the month. In order to win the month, you have to win the week. Now, to win a week, you have to win the day. Forty-five days is six weeks and four days. How fast do six weeks go by? Big dreams require healthy habits because it's the healthy habits that we practice day in and day out that allow us to build our dream life. And it's not just about building a dream life, it's about building a happier life. It's about waking up and feeling excited to wake up. It's about feeling confident enough to try new things, go on new adventures and live a life that fulfills us because we all deserve this. We're now two months into the new year and in case you're feeling like you're just not getting closer to your goals, the goals that you have set, don't worry because this challenge was made for you. I am personally not a fan of challenges that are unrealistic because I won't start something that has a high chance of making me feel bad about myself. I came up with a 45 day challenge that is not only about practicing healthier habits that allows us to do it with the intention of building and strengthening our self-love because let's be honest self-love is at the root of everything every single thing in our life stems from how worthy we deem ourselves so how exactly does this work there are seven rules to live by for 45 days. The idea is to really be consistent and committed to practicing these habits day to day. So start by opening your calendar or Notion calendar and pick a day when you want to start this challenge. I've already started a few weeks back and if you want you can check out my Instagram. I've posted so much content about this since I started. But you can check out my Instagram highlights, reels and stories. I'm constantly sharing my experience about the challenge there. Now that you know when you're starting and with who you're starting, let's get into the seven rules and how to actually implement them. The first thing that we are trying to change is our mindset. If we want to shift our external reality, we always have to start from within. And that means we see the world not as the world is, but as we are. We have to start intentionally reprogramming our mind for abundance, gratitude, success, love, all of these things because we want to reinstall a new program into our hard disk, self-serving belief systems onto that hard disk so that they are the corner foundation of how we believe and experience our life. We want to start feeling and experiencing things like I am confident, I am worthy, I am beautiful you know we want to start feeling the person that we're becoming i recently made a video a full video about this so feel free to check that out if you're interested to learn more it's like dr joe dispenza said if we want to change some aspect of our reality we have to think feel and act in new ways we have to be different in terms of our responses to experiences we have to become someone else we have to create a new state of mind we need to observe a new outcome with that new mind. So in order to do this, to achieve this, we are going to start practicing affirmation practices, rituals. <laughs> There's so many different ones out there on YouTube, so feel free to find one that works for you. I personally have a favorite that I do, that I've been doing for the 45 days and before that, which goes a bit like this. First, I get out my journal and do my little journal sessioning. I usually do this in the morning, but you can also do this in the evening. And at the end, once I've brain dumped everything on a piece of paper, I am going to start writing the things I want to reaffirm in present tense. So for example, I would write, I am strong and lean, or I am healthy, I am financially abundant, not only do I write out my desires in present I am sentences, but I also try and match my energy to the energy of my desires. 
like if one of my desires is to be financially free financially unburdened then i will start trying to feel what free feels like you know and if i'm struggling to get into a certain feeling then i will just start with gratitude that is the first emotion the first of the higher emotions that i can always tap into because i believe there's always no matter how bad our life is or how hard certain moments are there's always something to be grateful and so i'll get into this state of gratitude by remembering the things i have i've got a roof over my head i have access to clean drinking water i have food in the fridge that i can eat right now so i am abundant and I'll try and get into that feeling as I go along. And let's not forget the main objective here, the main idea is to change our energetic vibration frequency. And we wanna do that by reprogramming our subconscious and conscious mind. And while these are, I think, fancy terms, at the end of the day, we just wanna change the way we see and think about the world. We wanna start seeing good things happening, opportunities arising, instead of feeling like there's not enough. I don't have enough money. I'm scared about my job, this and this and this. You know, we wanna get away from that and more into this fulfilled, wholesome, self-healed version of us. The second rule is to drink one and a half liters of lemon water in the morning straight after waking up one and a half liters of lemon water i have a lemon press that i use for this if you don't take like if lemon water doesn't sit well in your stomach in your gut then you can also do cucumber lime or any kind of um, fruit water and it needs to be a minimum of one and a half liters because during our sleep we lose so much water we lose so much hydration that by that we really want to refill that straight off the get-go when we wake up. Now, the third habit is all about educating and enriching our mind. No, I'm not talking about going back to school unless you want to, but I'm talking about reading, self-development, self-help, educational books. You can choose any book that you want within these like paradigms that work for you. Do you want to learn more about video editing? Do you want to learn more about how to become confident? Do you want to learn more about becoming financially free? Whatever topic you're currently interested in, pick a self-development self book accordingly and get on it. There are a few of my favorite books right here. I'm going to link them down below because I've read them a minimum of one time and I can definitely recommend them to you. With this as well, I do find it easiest to read in the morning because when I read before bedtime or closer to bedtime, I get really tired and I'm not consuming the information as well as I do in the morning. So I, after, after my affirmations practice, I will read straight away, which takes discipline. I'm not always in the mood to sit down and read. Sometimes my mind wants to get straight into things, work, to do's, but I have to force myself down and say, hey, it's too early in the morning to rush into things. I'm gonna take the time to read now. If you do have a time limit here, you have to, you don't have a lot of time in the morning, I do recommend doing it in the evening though, because you have to find a time slot that is outside of work, cooking, cleaning, and your to-dos. The fourth habit is walking. I love walking. It was the first thing I started to change when I tried to get healthier and fitter and I, I practice this to this day and we're now maybe looking five years back. Walking is one of the best ways to physically exercise ourselves but not overexert ourselves and it's absolutely brilliant for our mental well-being and focus. So instead of limiting ourselves to 10k steps every day because that's the standard nowadays i like to 70k steps a week that way i give myself a bit of wiggle room because some days i will walk a lot more than 10k steps and some days i will barely get to 8k and instead of having the pressure to get the 10k steps every day i give myself this like flexibility throughout seven days as long as i get to 7k steps a week to get to 10k steps a, week, a day, you have to walk about 8 point something kilometers 
8. something kilometers if you just take a nice easy walk will take you around one and a half hours. So if you've been walking for 20 minutes in the morning and an hour in the afternoon and then a bit later on throughout the day, you'll get to your 10k steps. Now this one, the fifth habit is a bit more challenging, I'm gonna be honest. The goal here is to exercise every day and that's really hard to do I find, at least for me. So the way I've done it is on the days where I have, it's a rest day, so I'm not going to the gym, I will either try and do a longer, more challenging walk, so a, a, a hike, um, yoga, pilates, long stretching, anything that I can do at home or light cardio. So these are the things I do on the days when I'm not going to the gym because I don't want to overexert myself so that I don't have enough energy for my gym sessions. So this one's a bit tricky, but when you do start getting into it, it gets easier. Now, healthy is what you make of it. I won't tell you what is or isn't healthy for you because every body, every body is different and we all need different things. I don't believe that there's a one standard rule for health and healthy for everyone that applies to everyone. So I'm gonna let you evaluate your, your current relationship with food. Is it a healthy, secure relationship or is it more toxic and you know, is there something going on with food that's currently, you know, weighing you down? Evaluate where you are because there's so many factors that play a role in deciding if something's a healthy nutrition and a healthy diet for us. I personally have tried a bunch of diets over the years. I've tried so many different things from trending diets to veganism to vegetarianism to flexitarianism to back to eating everything including meat i've tried it all and what uh, what works currently for me is eating intuitively which means i eat when i'm hungry i stop when i'm full and i try and listen to my body because usually like right now my body tells me what it wants like i'm craving fruits currently so i'll eat fruits and other days i'll crave protein like i think that i know what i need so i really try and listen to my body while simultaneously also obviously getting an overview of eat, am i eating wholesome nutritionally rich foods so that works well for me currently i'm loving this food freedom it is has taken so much pressure off my back I am focused on getting in more protein because I am doing more intense workouts in the gym, which means I am burning more calories. I am hungry more often, which I personally enjoy. I like it when I have good appetite, I'm hungry, and I am excited for a meal because when I'm not, I'm like, mm you know, do I have to eat kind of situation. <laughs> if you need any meal inspo, I've made a what I eat in a day video before and I'm going to continue to do so. Maybe there's a meal in there that you haven't tried yet. So give that a watch if you want to. And the last habit, this is, this is hard in the beginning. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm gonna get straight into it. It is freaking hard. In the beginning, I, it's like every part of you is saying no to putting the water cold when you're doing your shower. But it's a part of this challenge because there are so many benefits from cold water exposure, regular cold water exposure. And so it's really healthy, good for our body, our nervous system and our mind. And I have, I've come to see that. I now love cold shower. I know, I don't believe it myself. I'm shocked too, but I do love it. I always feel really awake and happy and energized after a cold shower. So I do recommend it and it definitely gets easier. Like let's say after two or three weeks, I think it gets so easy because you'll, ha you'll do your normal shower. You'll start slowly turning it to cold and then you'll do more than 30 seconds you know, um, exposure to the cold water. In the beginning though, 30 seconds is a long time when you're freezing and you don't wanna be doing it. So either count in your head, put, a smart, put your smartwatch on, put your phone on, on the 30 second timer so you have understanding, am I getting to the full 30 seconds? Because if you're just doing three, four seconds, you're not really gonna see any benefits. Even 30 seconds isn't enough, but it's the start of something. The idea is that we start getting into it and then, yeah, start being exposed to cold longer. So 
that is the 45 day challenge i am really excited to see who is joining who has joined you can always dm me on instagram if you need any tips help anything about this challenge i am currently in it i'm now closer to the end though because i did start a while back so feel free to reach out anytime and yeah i really hope that you enjoy it i love this challenge i at first i thought mm, you know am i gonna enjoy it is it just gonna be tedious am i just gonna count off the days is this gonna be one of those things where i'm looking forward to the end of it and it really isn't i love this challenge it seems realistic even though it does feel like a lot like it seems like a lot of things to get done in a day right especially if we've got busy days but then when you get into it it feels like actually this is doable like from all of the things i want to say i've consistently gotten every single one done except the one hour exercise exercise every day i'm gonna be honest some days i did forget to do some form of exercise but that's the only thing everything else has been going brilliantly and that really makes me happy this level of consistency even reaching 90 percent so if you're really struggling with these habits don't worry this isn't the end of the world if habits and routines are hard for you there's also a video i made about i feel like i'm just recommending my my other videos but i have talked about these topics before so i'm not going to go into them in this video i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any thoughts ideas insights let me know in the comments below and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe so you become a member of this amazing community and i'll see you in the next video bye